Born in December of 1938, Jerry's father operated Barber Brothers shows based in Cedarville, Ohio. His grandparents owned a small farm. Growing up around a carnival and a farm taught Jerry about machines and work ethic. After his high school graduation in 1956, he took a trailer-mounted Alan Herschel Little Dipper his father had rebuilt on the road by himself, and hopscotched with many different shows in the eastern U.S. and even as far west as New Mexico. During his college years, Jerry took equipment out in the summers and booked with other shows in order to work his way through college. During this time, he observed the dynamics of many carnival families and all their challenges. Privileged to be able to tell you a few things about Jerry Barber, who is a a true pioneer of the outdoor amusement business. and I've known Jerry for many years and, and uh, Jerry's a patent holder. Uh, he's a scientist, he's a physicist, he's a teacher. He's youngest high school principal in Ohio ever. He wears many hats. Mainly Jerry's a very smart guy and a pioneer and those kind of guys don't get enough credit. And, and I've known Jerry for all these years. Barber liked to create. He built a portable go-kart track with banked ovals and operated it at the Michigan State Fair. This was later followed by a fun house he built in his backyard, the Telstar, which became the Scat, and the Caravel, which became the Turbo, all before starting venture ride manufacturing. Chance Rides was impressed with Barber and hired him away from his education career. After good years with Chance, Jerry searched for a new home and manufacturing base. In 1971, he found Greenville, South Carolina, a great place to do business with nice weather and easy access to an airport and open venture rides. He built probably the first bunkhouse in the 80s ever. Of course, his biggest amusement company was uh, Venture Rides, and, and they had rides that, that Jerry invented, built, and sold, the Scat, the Cobra, several rides from Venture, the Venture River, and they were all good, affordable rides at the time. Barber created Sunbelt Capital for amusement ride funding and a facility for buying and selling amusement equipment known as usedrides.com. A trip with his oldest son to the ocean resulted in an idea to manufacture and install artificial coral reef heads. Most recently, Barber heads Barber Wind Turbines. Using concepts from the amusement industry, Barber created a totally new wind technology that many are saying will be transformational to the wind industry by making turbines more efficient, transportable, and affordable. Jerry's inventions have resulted in more than 50 U.S. patents, more than half of which have been produced commercially, in fields ranging from amusement rides to child safety. He was awarded the Alan J. McDonald International Entrepreneur Award in 1993 for excellence in global entrepreneurship by the Society of International Business Fellows. He was also awarded the Dr. Charles Towns Individual Achievement Award from Innovision in 2010 to celebrate his lifetime achievements in science and technology. Jerry and his wife Tammy co-founded the Beach Ball Foundation, a children's charity that changes lives through education and the arts. To date, the Beach Ball Foundation has raised over $2.5 million for children in the upstate of South Carolina. And Jerry just uh, has been a true pioneer for the amusement business and it's due time for Jerry and I congratulate you Jerry for being a pioneer in the outdoor amusement business. Congratulations and uh, I hope you're watching this here tonight. In the amusement industry, Barber's leadership had a significant impact with the invention of the free fall ride, the development of portable living quarters for carnival personnel, and the advancement of amusement industry education through area and aims. Hey dad, uh, congratulations. Uh, I just want you to know that there's so many people that are uh, just so affected by what you've done. You know, we've just been uh, really inspired by your, your whole life and what you've done over the years. Um, in this industry, you've just been such a big part of it. Really look forward to celebrating this time with you. Tonight, we honor Gerald L. Jerry Barber with the 2015 Outdoor Amusement Business Association Pioneer Award. <laughs>